This video focuses on the invention of musical instruments by Sir Charles Wheatstone. In 1823, together with his brother William, Charles took over the music business of his uncle, who has died. Charles was not for long in the music business, but, in addition to his other inventions, he was constantly working on new inventions and improvements to his invented musical instruments. In 1827, new musical instruments arrived in London from Germany. They were offered as Aeolian called mouth harmonica, in Germany. The newly developed free reed technique, in the Aeolians, fascinated Charles. He starts with experiments, and began to work on improvements. In 1828, he presented improved Aeolian variants. In December 1829, Charles Wheatstone, filed a patent application for, improved, and newly developed, wine musical instruments. Drawings were added to the patent. The drawings of the patent, can be divided, into three groups. Figures 1 to 36, are inventions, and improvements of instruments, using the new free read technique, similar in the Aeolian. Figure 37 to 44, are improvements, of the Chinese musical instrument Sheng. The Sheng has been known in China for at least 3,000 years, and also works with a free read technique, similar to the Aeolian. The Sheng is, or was, probably the origin, or inspiration, for the new European free read technique. Figure 45, shows the first prototype, of an English concertina. In this video, we focus on figures 1 to 36, what is the invention, of, the symphonium. Charles Wheatstone describes different variants, or construction methods, of his new invented instrument. Before Wheatstone begins, with the first technical explanation, he briefly describes, the functionality of the new free reed technology, of the Aeolian. Which means in simple terms, the reeds start to vibrate, when they are blown, from above. The vibrating reed, interrupt the airflow, and thus, produce a sound in the frequency of the vibration. If, the wind comes from the other side, the reed, remains quiet and silent. Symphonium Variant 1 View of the right hand side End view Top view A cut through the center of figure 2 Shows the reeds attached to the inside of a metal plate The keys are provided with springs The notes of this instrument, are arranged in a diatonic scale. The levers of the keys, are alternately unequal in length. Two keys can be operated with one finger. The notes, produced by touching two adjacent diagonal nubs, are thirds. The notes produced by touching two neighboring nubs, in the parallel rows, are fifths. The instrument is completed by, three fixed sides, and one movable side, held with the third, and fourth fingers, and the thumbs. The index finger presses a key. Symphonium. Variant 2. Instead of placing the reed keys on two parallel plates, they can be mounted in two separate rows 
on just one plate. However, this design requires a new arrangement of the keys. The push rods are bent alternately, in two opposite directions. Bottom view of figure 7. The curved rods are connected with pins to a lever mechanism. Each key has a spring that acts against a hook. Key mechanism. Next, inner structural parts that hold the rods in position are described. Figure 19 shows the end plate with mouthpiece. Symphonium. Variant 2B. Variant 2B is structurally identical to Variant 2, but has a different read layout and a modified lever technology. New Reads Arrangement The reads for Variant 2B are opposite and offset. The raw technology has been adapted for the new layout. The push rods are extended so that the end reach the shorter end of the key mechanism. According to the patent, all other parts are identical to the Symphonium Variant 2. For Variant 2B, there is also an additional mechanism for playing a semitone. Description of the mechanism There is a tooth on the rod that is placed exactly over a reed. By pressing it with your thumb, the spring pushes the rod down and thus shortens the reed and changes the tone. When you let go, the rod jumps back to its original position. For a different semitone, you have to use a different rod. Symphonium Variant 3 Key arrangement on the right This variant is a combination of two variant one symphonium that are connected. Four parallel rows of keys on each side. The scale of the two inner rows is played by the first two fingers of both hands. For the semitones of the outer rows, the fingers are stretched out to the side. Symphonium. Variant 4. Variant 4 is a duplication of an instrument as shown in Figure 7 or Figure 21. To get additional semitones means the doubling of a symphonium like Variant 2 or 2B. How the two parts of the same instrument are joined together is shown in figure 26 and figure 27. Figure 27 is a partial view and shows the position of the wind tunnel for both reed plates. Keys and tone arrangement for this combo symphonium is the same as in figure 25.
Symphonium. Variant 5. Variant 5 is achromatic symphonium with a key switching mechanism. View from below. Next to figure 28 you can see the components for the new mechanism. What is figure 31, 32 and 33? The drawings show a rod, on which, two small wings are mounted. The wings are arranged at 90 degrees, to each other. A collet is attached to the rod, in which, there are two notches. The notches in the collet are, for a spring, that holds the rod in position. The wings fits into a gap in the valve's rotary mechanism. You can switch between two tones by turning the lever 90 degrees. The springs are attached to the inner frame depending on the design. Two similar parts are put together to form this Symphonium Variant 5. Figures 28, 29, 30 and 34 show also the position of the wind chamber. Figure 29 shows the key arrangement alternating in opposite directions. Figure 35 is the inside of the instrument, as already in Figure 16, for Variant 2 and 2B. But, a two-sided inner side is used, for the doubled instrument. Figure 36, probably shows a complete frame, of such an inner side, with double slits. This way, you can put two identical parts of the instrument together.